Good morning. It's Friday, April 3rd. It's Good Friday for Easter weekend. And today is obviously a really special day. I think it's really interesting because it's cloudy out and today is the day when we um, remember what Jesus did on the cross for us. So there's like glimmers of sun in the clouds, but it's a pretty cloudy day. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about um, kind of what what Jesus came for and how he brings us freedom and hope. And um, I just pray that this Easter you would really just be able to sense that and understand how much he loves you individually and um, all of humanity. So I think a lot of times people confuse religion with what God's actually calling us to. Um, religion's a means, going to church is a means of connecting, um, connecting and worshiping God and Jesus, but that's not really the purpose of it all. Um, he wants us he, to have a relationship with him, um, a personal one and a one-on-one -on -one relationship, and he wants to use us to, um, to tell people about Jesus' love. And I think we get, a, get confused often because we think in order for him to love us, we have to do good things or be a good person. But if you look in the Bible, it's really neat because the people that Jesus really helped and was with were the people that you wouldn't normally think. Women, um, tax collectors, which are basically traitors to um, the Jewish faith. They left the Jewish faith to go work for the enemy, um, the Romans. And um, he was with those people. Um, so he didn't come just for the people that are good. Um, he came for everyone. Um, and we don't have to do the right things and say all the right things in order for him to love us. He loves us already as we are. And because of that love, we are drawn to do things for others and for his kingdom. So I just pray that um, today, Good Friday, you would really um, understand what Jesus did for us. He, God really, really wanted to be with us, that he sent his one son and he died so that could have a relationship with all of us and I know we've heard the story before so it just loses its strength sometimes but when you really think about it it's it happened for you and it happened for me and for all of us and I just think that's awesome so I just pray this weekend we were able to worship him and on Easter just thank him because he has conquered death and evil and and through him, we have too. And um, that's just awesome. So have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. And I just pray you really, really feel God's love for you this, um, this weekend.